Evening, thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Scott Martin. The search continues for the next Calhoun County School District Superintendent. A public hearing was held at Calhoun County High School Auditorium to get input from the community. Our Quentin Smith was there. He joins us live in the studio with more from that meeting. Hey there, Quentin. Yes, Scott, the goal of tonight's meeting was to allow concerned parents and residents to come out and discuss the criteria and qualifications that they want to see in their next superintendent. During the meeting, some of the trace people expressed that they're looking for in their next school leader includes someone who's a forward thinker, someone that's going to show transparency and that's going to focus on the district as a whole. Tonight, everyone in attendance had the chance to discuss these things with members with the Mississippi School Boards Association. Now, once everything wrapped up, the representatives on hand tonight gathered all of the information and reported it back to the Calhoun County School Board. From there, the board will take the information from tonight, compare it to the candidate that matches the criteria, then use that to pick their candidate. You've got to have your next uh, superintendent uh, fit with the community and the schools within the communities. So if you don't know what the stakeholders desire in a leader, you know, it's a hit or miss thing. So by bringing them to the table, letting them discuss the characteristics, the traits, the priorities of the new superintendent or what the priority should be, it gives the board a better understanding of what to seek when they go out and uh, start interviewing these candidates. Now the former superintendent, Mike Moore, resigned in December. You may remember, it was last school year when Moore, along with Bruce High School principal, Michael Gillespie, were charged with failing to report an alleged sex crime. Their probable cause hearing was set to take place in February, but was delayed because the prosecutor in the case also served as a public defender in Calhoun County. No timeline has been set for when a new prosecutor will be appointed. Scott? All right, thank you very much.